welcome back to my channel, y'all. It's your girl, Nizzy Mac, and I'm back on the track. Hey, thanks for dropping by, y'all. We got another, another synthetic wig review, okay? Ooh, y'all, this one is a banger. Like, I really like this one. I really like the way it looks. I like the installation. Like, there was, I have no cons about this wig. Like, this, like, here we go. This review finna be real short. Let me stop smiling in this video, first of all, because I'm just like ear to ear because I really like the way this one looks. Like, as far as like me talking about any cons on this unit, there are none. There are none, y'all. So this one actually came from ebonyline.com, you guys. Check them out, okay? I'll leave all the details. All the details down in the description box about where you guys can purchase this unit. So make sure y'all go ahead and check that out. If you don't, if you don't have it, I, I don't, I don't even know why you like don't. Like get this unit, get this unit, and like get this unit. Yeah. So that wraps it up for this part. Make sure y'all stay tuned so I can show you guys how I installed it and how I, I had. Eh, heh, heh and how i achieved this look okay because this this is giving chocolate goddess baby i love it okay make sure you guys stay tuned for the review part of this video okay and as always thank you so much for watching bye all right y'all so this is outre's new 360 13 by 6 i have kalinda and it's in the color uh, dr chocolate brown chocolate swirl girls chocolate swirl so this is a straight out of the package it comes with the baby hair already okay so i'm just unboxing it for you guys so as you guys see it's a 360 that is laced all around this bad boy so you can pull it up in a ponytail if you need to um let me show you so i'm showing y'all what i did here i went in and i hot combed the unit um and i like made sure that the uh the edges were laying flat i just needed those baby hairs out the way because honestly they was doing too much like who who wants thick baby hairs like that but yeah get them out the way that's what y'all see me doing here uh the next step i did i went ahead and, and i did go ahead this year it does come pre-plucked it comes plucked super natural looking but you guys know i'm super extra and i wanted it to you know melt like a synthetic i mean it's a synthetic melt like a human hair frontal girl like so i went in and i did some extra plucking with my tweezer scissors y'all know i be rocking them tweezer scissors i be um i am so sure am loyal to my tweezer scissors i tell you that <laughs> but yeah i went in and i plucked it some more um this like i always say this step is completely optional but I'm just showing you guys what all I did, okay? Um, so once that was done, this is what the unit looks like. Flawless baby girl, okay? So I went ahead. Um, so let's go ahead and throw her on, okay? Um, so <clears throat> I went ahead and put her on. As you guys can see, she fits very snug. The lace is not cut right here. Um, so you will need to cut it. I'm just trying to see like how I need it to lay because this is a 360 girl. Like you need to cut it appropriately. So I pulled the hair out of my face and now I did go ahead and cut the ear tabs a little bit. Um, they just need to be cut just a tiny bit for me, for my big head self. So yeah, I did that. So yeah, I went ahead and did that. And now you guys see me cutting the lace with my pink and shears, the shears, the zigzag ones, you guys. Um, so y'all, y'all know all the, all the, uh, all the links to the tools I'm using is in my Amazon storefront. So make sure you check that out. Link in the description box, period. Okay, um, so now I, um, after I did that, I went ahead and tinted the lace with my foundation. Um, the lace does come like neutral colored, not white. It wasn't white. It was like neutral color, but still it needed to be tinted. So I use my foundation to tint these synthetic units. Okay, okay. For today's melt, I am going in with the Ebba Lace Glue. Uh, this was the Extreme Mega Hold, I think. I'm not sure which one. I usually do this one or the black one, but... Either way, Evan is my girl, okay? So I put that on, let it get a little bit tacky, and then I go ahead and drop the lace down in there. Like I always say in my videos, I, I do it in sections. So I do the middle part, and then I do the left and then the right. So um, make sure you guys are applying that cool air. To make sure that that's like in there. And also make sure that you get any excess drip off because that drip will ruin the trip. <laughs> Um, so now I'm like I said, I'm doing the other side and don't get it in your eyelashes like me. So I do on the other side and I'm, um, 
applying that cool air to get everything to stick. I did go in with an elastic band, um, but it had a brand name on, so um, I did not show that on camera because they're not paying you, girl. But anyways, uh, <laughs> so get that nice and melted. And once it's nice and melted, you can go in and uh, part this unit. Um, so I, I wanted to do a deep side part. Y'all know I'm a side part chick. Like, I live for the side part, okay? Um, so that's what you guys see me doing here. I just went ahead and parted it. And... Um, I kind of like for my part to like come over to the middle of my head. So that's what you guys see me doing here. Just kind of getting that part where it need to be. And then I went ahead and cut the baby hairs, you guys. I cut the baby hairs and I went ahead and swooped everything down. Um, I d only did two swoops. Um, and I didn't do the other side either because you can't even see it. So why would I do it? Yeah. But if you're, if you're going to see the other side, do the other side. But for the purpose of this video, I did not. <laughs> So anyways, yeah, um, I'm finishing up the baby's hairs here, you guys. Get those laid to perfection. Um, I know this video is pretty sped up, but it probably took me about like 10 to, 20, 10 to 20 minutes to do these two little swoops because I'm a super perfectionist about the way that it curls and the way that it flows and all that. So yeah, take your time. Um, now I did go in with the hot comb, you guys. I used the hot comb to further flatten the part. Um, the part... Like once you part it, you will need to like flatten it. Um, also, I did do a like a tiny little bump in the front. It just makes it look more natural and less wiggy. And um, it definitely gave what it's supposed to give, honey. Make sure y'all using this on a low heat also. I do want to note that because these synthetic units will burn up. But this, this one right here is the human hair blend, you guys. So, yeah, you can turn the heat up a little bit more. But, you know, not, you know, not too much, not too much. So last step, I always go in with the finishing, uh, the pressed powder, just to make everything just flawless. I always add makeup to my lace because I, it just looks better. And I, I use powder. I don't like using like concealer unless it's like in the part. But even still then, I like the way that the powder kind of looks. It looks more soft and blurred versus a harsh concealer line. You know what I'm saying? Um, now I went ahead and brushed the curls out, you guys. The curls were too wiggy for me. So I did go in and curl everything, uh, brush everything out. And it just made everything like super like gorgeous and glam curls. You know what I'm saying? So this hair is nizzy approved baby i really like the way that it laid you can do so much with this and i may do another video i'm um, styling in a different way i just wanted to do the side part you guys because it it, it's, it just gave what it needed to be like oh my god I, I i when i got this i was like i'm gonna do you know a whole bunch of different styles with this unit but I put it in the side part and I'm like, baby, this is it. This is it right here. <laughs> but that wraps it up, you guys. Let me know what you guys think about this gorgeous color, this gorgeous unit. Would you rock this one? Let me know down in the comments, okay? And as always, thank you so much for watching, guys. Bye.